Um, can you just tell us uh, what are the most important elements of Governor Phil Murphy's executive order that residents of um, New Jersey will need to be on board with? Well, the governor is uh, emphasizing the fact that we need to work on this together to what we call flatten the curve because the virus right now is starting to spread uh, in the state of New Jersey and the numbers have increased. So, for example, in a very tiny state with 9 million people, uh, we're one of the densest states in the nation and uh, we're right next to New York City. Uh, so uh, we have we're, we're an important hub for for trade and, and and business. So basically, he's saying people, you need to stay home because every single contact is a potential infection, and the number of infected cases that have been tested positive have been going up. So now we're close to 500 cases a day. So we're trying to get ahead of it so we don't get to the stage where. You know, it's beyond control, and we don't want to really live up to the worst models that we see that could potentially uh, manifest thousands of deaths in the state. Mayor Cairola, you've been advising people to not have their children interact with others at parks, um, even, even suggesting people put up holiday decorations as a sign of hope. Um, are you happy with how residents... Um, of your borough in Prospect Park are responding to these measures? Yes, I, I've been with my residents through the disaster of Hurricane Sandy, and this is the second disaster, big disaster that we go through. And the response is heartwarming. Um, we're getting positive response. Uh, unfortunately, it just takes one bad apple to, to ruin it for everybody. So we're hoping that um, people adhere to the rules and regulations, to the guidelines, because we're really trying to protect lives. And one move that someone could be very careless about could ruin the lives of, of many. So, but for the most part, people are listening, they're adhering. Businesses have been doing a fantastic job complying. Um, how is the state doing in terms of food, uh, medicine testing kits. Uh, do you guys have shortages? Do you expect any in the coming weeks and months? I, I know the state is fighting for testing kits. Um, they've opened the first statewide uh, testing center uh, in the county uh, neighboring us. On Monday, they're working on opening the second one. And uh, soon they're working on opening one in, in our area because in the northern part of the state, close to New York City is where the epicenter of and the growth of the virus is. So in terms of food, uh, I don't think there's a shortage, uh, but people are still panicking in a sense, and they're buying whatever they could find off the shelves, particularly cleaning uh, supplies. Uh, but there is no short on, fooded, uh, on food. There's tremendous short on, on sanitizing equipment. Uh, but... Whatever gets on the shelf gets bought right away.